Welcome to Lecture 2, Terminology and Scope of the Deployment. In this lecture, we're going to cover AWS-specific service terms, including IAM, Identity Access Management, S3, Simple Storage Service, EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud, uh, IAM policies, which are a definition of permissions for AWS services for a principal. These are all written and stored in JSON, which is JavaScript Object Notation. PKI, which is public key infrastructure, roles, policy, hardware, to create and maintain a digital certificate to match the identity. We're going to have some HashiCorp Vault specific terms as well, which include the Seekers Engine, which uses IAM policies to dynamically perform IAM AWS API calls, add access keys, and secret access keys for your users. Secret, which is a term used by Vault for confidential data. Elise the duration that a token is granted, a token, a dynamic mapping to information. View the Vault concepts and further training in the additional curriculum section of the lecture for more information. Here is the scope of the deployment, the infrastructure, which will include one VPC, which is virtual private cloud, two subnets, public and private, two or more availability zones, in this case, US East 1, a and US East 1B, 1 to 2 T3 micro EC2 vault servers, a launch configuration based on the configuration pulled from S3, and an auto scaling group based on CPU usage. We'll be using an S3 bucket for the encrypting configuration and to unseal the key, which will be used later in this lecture. DynamoDB plus a global table if you desire for database backend global table will allow for higher availability and larger scaling. An application load balancer to distribute the traffic between the Vault servers. In a Route 53 forward zone to handle public DNS in a record set for that Elastic Load Balancer alias. As far as pricing, we're based on on-demand EC2 pricing for T3 Micro. We're coming out to about $44 a month. There will be cost savings with EC2 spot instances when the spot instances option is set in the launch configuration. DynamoDB will be using on-demand resources and not provisioned. In the next lecture, we're going to set up the environment in AWS and get our hands dirty and deploy. Thanks. See you in the next lecture.